All right, this is Somnambulist, and we are playing Valkyria Chronicles. How's it going, everybody? We are continuing this uh, playthrough here, right here, right where we left off. Tank, soldiers, looks pretty warlike. Argyle socks. You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? Indeed yes, we are. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um... That is correct. Yeah. Yes, that's me. Oopsie daisy What? <sighs> hey, you can't... Ah, oh, nice to meet you too. Now, let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the hardest uh, experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! If this were Mass this Effect, I probably zone. would have punched her by now. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews. Thank you. Now, All right. let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. That was interesting. Ugh. Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. That's no correct, kidding. actually. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. I think everybody does. Ah, uh, whatever. He'll learn soon enough. To one degree or another. Only one thing matters out there in the field. And that's experience. And gumption, and... I don't know, whatever the hell. Chapter 4. Operation, Operation Cloudburst. Cloudburst. Alright. I wonder what those things are. About personnel, weaponry, and... Whatever the other one was. These three tabs offer information on the game's cast, the arms they wield, and the things and places that form their world. Open the menu with the Y button, then in the tab Select menu, select the resource you would like to read. Their contents are automatically updated as you progress through the game's plot, so check back on a periodic basis. Castle Front Street is now available. The War Cemetery is now available. The Personnel tab has been updated. The Weaponry tab has been updated. The Glossary tab has been updated. Let's take a bit of a look at that one. Personnel. Alright, basic stuff. For a bunch of people. Alright. Weaponry. I think that's the one I got from the, the battle. Military machine gun. Mm-hmm. Welp, that's sure a thing. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go ahead with the game. Because, yeah. Let's see what headquarters has going on. Maybe I can burn some experience or some such business. Let's hit the R&D facility first. Welkin, bro! I'm stoked you're here, man! What can I do you for? I don't think you can do me for anything. Like, that is slightly alarming. 
Yeah, why not? Oh, I guess I already have that one. Or this is the Sorry. one. No? Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, I guess there's nothing new there. Check the Edelweiss. I do have more of these things. Hmm. Increased tread HP. Get some range up. That's potentially useful. Here you go, bro. All done. All done. Hmm. I'm gonna pick this one up too. Here you go, bro. All done. All right. That's a little expensive. I'm gonna look into some other things, I suppose. Okay. Come back again soon, bro. I mean it, man. All right. Uh, Castle Front Street. Let's see what's going on there. Hey, Lieutenant. Off duty today? Honestly, I have no idea. Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. All right. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? Because you're basically Rita Skeeter? Sure, I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. Governments do tend to do that, yeah. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. All right. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this. Out of sight from those government goons. I mean, really, is she, she worried about getting put in an internment I'll camp or something? I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. So yeah, come by and have a read sometime. Okay. In an interview given on the 8th, a spokesman for the Central Galleon Armed Forces suggested a massive anti-imperial counterstrike brewing. Should this come to pass, all eyes will be on how a force that has thus far specialized in retreat can stem the imperial incursion that claimed most of Gallia by last month's end, and now stands before the gates of Randgriz. It seems the militia will join the army proper on this bid to free the capital from a siege, a fear that has persisted for weeks now. Some suggest that this move is due to the army's desire to conserve its own manpower for combat within the city walls. A very real possibility should this plan fail. Alright. The Empire-owned and run Terry's news outlets have reported on the 6th that Imperial forces have claimed the Coastal Federation city of Valua. If true, the Empire would now hold a supply route for Ragnite transport, greatly influencing their standing in southern Europa. Unlike the northern provinces, Europa, Europa's south lacks for Ragnite, meaning that supplies must be shipped in from elsewhere to sustain the Empire's offensive. The Empire's hold on Europa's southern coast means expansion of the conflict to all areas of the continent is more likely now than ever before. The Federation has yet to issue a statement regarding the Empire's alleged seizure of value at this time. Alright, that's and interesting. While you're here, I don't know if I like the sound I of that. I want to put a book out someday, right? To put the truth in the hands of the people. But I'm just a radio news grunt, you know? I'll be paying for everything out of my own pocket. So, I figured I'd ask you. 
Think you could find it in your wallet's heart to help a girl get started? No. I'd make it worth your while. You guys could feature in the book I write. I still haven't decided what all I want to put in it, but I promise it'll be all about you. So you don't know what it's going to be about, but it'll be See about me? See this stack of notes? I've got a ton of material already. So how about it? Call it an investment in the future rising star of authordom. Please. Mm -hmm. Oh, I might as well. <laughs> Thanks a million. I mean, I'm not really into Jimmy Olsen here, but, uh, well, it's in the game. It must be I some plan kind on putting of out new editions thing. Periodically, so drop by to check it out often. All right. Especially after you've made some headlines on the battlefield. That's the perfect time to strike. Okay. I'm counting on you out there, Welkin. You need to keep me supplied with exciting material. All right, not so much into that one. I'm not sure anybody has rested, uh, gone to the resting place just yet in these battles. But maybe there will be some sort of thing for people outside of our stuff. Paying your respects? Sorry, I suppose that was a foolish question. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. No. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? Now that's some really bad voice acting. I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. Yeah. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. And he speaks very slowly. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Cool. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader, hmm. Very impressive for a young man. Man, he could kind of speed that up a Not little bit. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. But I own a tank. Wrong order from me, and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. It is. You respect the weight of their lives. Here, let me teach you a special order. An order, sir? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? Satan himself. <laughs> <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Now... Let's see. Yes, let us see. I'll teach you. Retreat today. This guy Use really it to command an injured unit. To sounds pull like out of combat. Like a really creepy horror game villain. Well, what is your decision? Should I decide to learn? Oh, that is... no, thank you. No, I mean I don't even have that much. I see. I suppose it was too soon for you. I guess so. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Uh, I sound creepy and hang around in graveyards. I don't know, man. Maybe that is Satan. And we have Welcome Mr. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots! Drill Sergeant again. Trade all you want. I've got all day. All right, let's see what we got. Level up. You're better than this. Push those limits. Push the limits. Cool. Good work, maggots. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the shock troopers. Good. I should see what this potential inch thing is. Attack power is boosted while crouching. Interesting. Scout killer. That's pretty accurate. I think he took out like two of them last battle. 
Firing accuracy improved when enemies nearby. Alright. That's cool stuff. Let's go sniper next. You're better than this! Push those limits! Yes. That is something you should be doing. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Wonder how many levels there are between us and human right now. I'm gonna go ahead and see, just try to get everybody up to level three. Fight and probably bullet. just move no on pain, on the story. No gain. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Alright. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order! Put it to good use out there! Sounds good. Oh, sorry, I skipped his thing. You learned defense boost. This order raises one ally's defense. That's useful. I got no use for tears! Sweat! 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 Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Yep. Finish up scout, and we will continue on. Fight the bullet! No pain, no gain! Yeah. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Alright, moving on. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat! Yep. Anytime you're ready to sweat, that's a good place to go. Or you're being, you know, yelled at by a strange man in an eye patch. I'd probably sweat too. I'd be like... Alright. Okay. I am gonna save. That did save, didn't it? Yes. That's a thing. Good. Internal strife. Squad 7's suppression of the enemy camp on the West Bank gave us the foothold we needed. Excellent. Now we'll join the Army's vassal battalion in Operation Cloudburst to take back the bridge. And not burn. Militia forces will take the point, crossing the bridge, and attacking the Eastern camp. All right. Captain. Crossing that bridge means breaching the enemy bridgehead. What sort of on-site backup and supplies can we expect from the army on this? Probably nothing. The plan calls for the army to commence its operation after we've struck the bridgehead. Wait a minute. So we're just being offered up on a platter? Yep, cannon fodder. I know how you feel. I felt that way when I was a militia foot soldier too. Because it's true. But sometimes Probably. being a soldier means taking on tough missions, even dangerous ones. Yeah, who knew? Understood, Captain. I'm not saying you're wrong, Faldio. Breaching that bridgehead by ourselves is... It's going to be tough. Captain Varat, may I go observe the area around the bridge? Yes. Observe it? I don't mind, but what do you... Yeah, who needs recon? Welcome. Yeah, Wilkin. Sergeant Melkiot, what is it? Oh, uh, sorry to interrupt the meeting. We're finished, it's fine. Now, I assume there's a reason for your visit? Yes, Captain. Wilkin, I, I mean, Lieutenant Gunther, the squad, they're at each other's throats. That is unfortunate. What? Please stop them, sir. I tried to, but they... I couldn't. Damn you want Alicia. Me to break it up? Well, you are the leader. I, I don't know. Maybe it'd be better to just let him have it out. I don't know about that one. Let them have it out? You can't just ignore them. I'm not ignoring them. I think it's important that they say what they're thinking. Butting heads over differing opinions can be one way to bring people closer together. Well, but... That may be, but I still... Look, you can't just sit here while your squad's tearing itself apart. It's not right. The goofy smile. He's just like, the squad's tearing them apart. And he's just like, I don't now know. Now get a move on, sir. I mean, you should at least check out the situation. See what's going on. Hey, I... I mean, 
Alicia. see if they're gonna like shoot each other. Sounds like he's got his hands full. It's all part of growing as a team. All right. Now let's see how terrible these people are being at each other. Lieutenant, it's either her or me, pal. What? Who let her in anyway? You really think I'm gonna work with a dark hair? She'll blow us all up. Besides, I can't stand the stink of her! Her type's got a bad reputation and everybody knows it. No darksons allowed, you hear me? Oh, yes. Could've fooled me. I've heard everything you have to say. But I'm still a human being, the same as you. Besides... No evidence exists to substantiate what you call the Darkson Calamity. It's a myth. Excuse me? So what, you're calling me stupid Stop now? Stop it, that's enough! Okay, boss man. We won't fight alongside no Darkson. What about that, can't you understand? I think you need to understand. Another you is taking you orders. Is taking orders from some hotshot greenhorn. All right, fine. Now listen and listen good. I'll yeah, you lay down the law. Back in Galia's hands in 48 hours. Huh? Now if my plan fails, which I doubt, then I'll resign. And Squad 7 will be all yours, Largo. But if my plan works, you'll take my orders and like it. <laughs> Your funeral, boss man. You sure about this? Yes, I am. But, wait a sec, Welkin! Wow, everybody's being a douchebag. That's normal enough, actually. Some episodes listed in the book mode are marked with an asterisk. These are sub-episodes, often telling a side story tangential to the main plot. For that reason, it is not necessary to view them in order to advance in the game. Though there is no penalty for skipping sub-episodes, they often offer a di different perspective on the events unfolding in the story you won't find elsewhere. Sounds good to me. I'm going to check it out. Welkin? Yeah, Welkin. Hmm? What's up? What's up? You just made an insane promise. That's what's up. And promise you did not need to make at all because those people are fucking lunatics. I'm sorry, Welks. I shouldn't have argued. This is all my fault. It's nobody's fault, Ease. It's a war. We're all on edge here. And this mission certainly isn't helping. It's little wonder the troops are upset. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why pulling this operation off is the perfect way to bring it the squad together. Is some wonder why they're all assholes. Or at least, Largo. And Rosie, I guess? Yeah. That'd be great if it worked. But how can you possibly hope to take back the bridge in just 48 hours? Magic? Maybe he's a wizard. Well, that's the hard part. Aha! Aha! Huh? Aha what? I was hoping, but there they are. Isara, Alicia, think you can do me a favor? Of course not. Sure, what is it? You follow me? But that's... Is that even possible? Still not even gonna tell me what it is? Well, Ys, think you can make it by tomorrow? It's gonna be a mystery. Yes, I'll get to work on it now. All right. I'll trust you on this. Thanks, Alicia. Well, let's get started. Yeah, might as well. Okay. I'm gonna guess this next big one is probably a battle. Maybe. I mean, there's gotta be a battle here sooner or later. Alright, let's hear this brilliant plan. 
And it's too late to back out, boss man. You got that? So let's hear it. Yep. We're going to strike the enemy encampment on the east bank. Whoa, hold it. You're asking us to die for you? Yes. One squad ain't breaching that bridgehead, buddy boy. That would be suicide. We're not taking on the bridgehead. We're taking on this, the river. We'll use the fog as cover as we cross the river, then launch a surprise attack. Oh, come on. Is this just some game to you, boyo? Nope. We're going to go ahead and pull a George Washington. We'll cross that river and then murder a bunch of people in their sleep on Christmas. Swimming a couple of foot soldiers over there ain't going to do much if we got no tanks. Don't worry, I've got that covered. Isara? I've fitted the Edelweiss with water-resistant measures to allow for submersion. Yeah? It will only hold for a few minutes, but it should be enough to cross. Hold on just a sec. Ships come through here. It's gotta be too deep for a tank. We're covered. Look. See that over there? Nope, I don't see anything. What's that? Grass? Missile reed. A tall aquatic plant found in the estuaries of some rivers. I noticed them when I came down to observe the river. This stretch runs shallow. Yeah? Shallow enough for a tank to drive across. Trust me on this. <clears throat> First, the Edelweiss will cross over and clear out any Imperial patrols on the shore. Then Lieutenant Gunther will send up a flare, signaling the rest of us to follow by boat. Right. Now let's get started. I'll see you on the other side. On the other side. You hear something? Yeah, I do. What is it? It's a tank. It's me. Run him down. Run him down. Oh, we got the Superman music. The Edelweiss swims just fine. Fall in, Sevens! Well, I mean, it's a little bit like that. A new episode has been added. Unfortunately, well, I'm going to see if this is a battle. Because, you know, one of these has got to be. If it's just a cutscene, I'm going to check it out. But this video is going a bit long, and I don't really have time for a whole battle. I apologize, but, like, if that's what's going on, then the battle's going to take a, f a little bit of time. Let me brief you oh, on yeah, Operation Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a battle. Burst. We'll be working with the Vassal Defense Battalion. Nah. I'm going to go ahead and skip that at the moment. Well, sorry for the, well, it's a bit of a downtime kind of episode, but that's what we got going on. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Somnambulous Gaming. We've been playing Valkyrie Chronicles for the PC. Uh, please join us next time when we do this battle that is about to start. See you guys later.